Hey guys, um, today um, I'm doing a video about my Dell 1545 here. Um, this is not a review video, but I might make one up in the near future anyway. So, getting on topic, um, I've had this laptop for five years and it's been an exceptional laptop. Like, I really have enjoyed using it whatsoever and all that, but I really want to boost the performance out of this laptop and all that, and I'm thinking about replacing it with an SSD. Some people might think about uh, putting an SSD on an older laptop as a race of mode, but it's not really like that. You're really just investing in an SSD, really. And if something else happens, like I said before, to the laptop, you can put the SSD into something else. There's like, I've got multiple uses for the SSD, which I'm going to use if something happens to this laptop and all that. I'll be also doing some other modifications as well, like upgrading the wireless card and putting a, putting a bit of CPU in it. Like, I'm not going to go too crazy with money and all that, but I just really want to get the most out of this laptop and all that. Like, I've already bought a 9-cell battery because the one I've got in there is the original 6-cell. Um, and that's... It holds a charge for like 30 minutes only, which... Eh. It's done its job, it's five years old, I've taken this halfway around the world with me, all the way to uni, this has been, this has seen me out through most of my life in uni and all that, and yeah. But anyway, on the topic, so the SSD, which I've got, is a Samsung, Samsung Evo SSD 250GB, um, I paid 134 bucks on it. Um, I could have got a little bit cheaper one, but I heard these Samsung SSDs. I've never used one personally, but these are one of the better no name brands of SSDs, and they have have a better reliability rate. Um, the other one I looked at, I forgot the um, I think it was a Transcend or something like that. They're pretty much new to the market and all that. Um, there's not many reviews on it, so for five bucks more. I might as well just get a better name brand one, and this has got a really good warranty. So, I really want to get onto this video. Looking forward to the performance upgrades f from the SSD. Um, if you've got a Dell 1545, make sure you set the um, SATA interface to AHCI and make sure you've got the BIOS version, Revision 14 installed. Just make sure there's no um, compatibility issues with it. But yeah, onto the project things first you want to do is to remove the battery on this laptop like so and then after that um, to get the hard drive out it varies with laptop by laptop but with this one all you just have to do is just take these two screws out sorry about the put this sorry about the light but these two screws out rock like so and then you're able to pull your hard drive out. Some laptops you have to, there's a, it's under a cover like this, or it, you have to take the whole bottom lid off, but with this one's fairly straightforward. So this, these are the two drives. This is the one I've got out of my machine. This is a Hitachi um, Travel Star, I believe it is. Um, May of 2009, and it's a 250 gig. Um, where can I see that? Yep, 250 gig, like so. Um, not a bad drive, like, people have mixed feelings about Hitachi, some people don't like it, but this one's been a solid trooper, um, it's original to the machine, and this is the new 250 gig SSD, and I can tell you right now, this is light as a feather, like, I can barely, it takes barely any effort to lift it up, and it's very light, compared to this, this is, like, weighs a ton to this, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to installing this into the, um, machine. Here comes the installation of Windows um, 7, but unfortunately in my situation, the license which I've got is an update license, so I have to install another version of Windows, which is going to be Windows XP, and then I'll have to install Windows 7 on top of that because it's an update version, and my product key will not work unless there's another version of Windows detected, so this is going to be good fun and games. Anyway, here you go, and I might. So I might. So yeah, this is going to be real fun. One thing I've got to add is that I was having problems with my laptop detecting my SSD. Um, the SATA um, interface wasn't um, connected properly to the um, laptop um, laptop control board. So what I've done is got this like 
with the solar thing and place it on top of the SSD. Um, if you don't have one of these, it comes with your SSD. Um, just use a piece of foam or a couple of sheets of paper or just a piece of cardboard and you place it on top of your SSD. And because I was having problems for a while, it wasn't detecting my SSD and was pulling my hair in and pulling my hair out in order to figure out what's going on. So what I've done. I might take it off the adhesive once I finish this video, place it back in the board and like I've already tested it out without, without the adhesive taken off. Like I've left it like that as it is, plugged it in and it detected it right away. So I'm going to now take the adhesive off, place it into the um place it into my laptop and it should be able to detect the SSD now because I was having problems trying to for it when I would install Windows. It would it will say no hard disk fan, which I thought was very strange until I found it was this was my problem. And it turns out this is quite common with SSDs with many laptops as well. So get I don't know, you should get find able to one of these lifter things. I don't know what they're called. I'll probably leave it under this video or place it like a place it on this video, what's it called? But yeah, like these I think cost me a couple of bucks. It comes with some SSDs. This one didn't come with it, but yeah, like I had this lying around. I'm like, what what do you need this for? But that's what I've turned out what it needed to be for for like laptops like this. So yeah, I placed that onto the laptop now and now let the thing go out forward with the installation. Now I can see here that the primary hard disk drive is now detected in the BIOS, so thumbs up for that. And now we're going to go forward and install Windows. But as I said before, I have to, this is an update version of Windows XP, so I have to put another version of Windows on. And why did I go back in there? So I have to install Windows XP in order for my license to be valid and all that. And yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but oh well, that's life. Now Windows XP. Sorry, Windows 7 derp, is now finally loaded and all activated. Um, I also did a um, disk cleanup to get rid of the Windows old file for the Windows um, XP installation. Now I'm going to shut the bad boy down. Please do not shut off 1.1. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, it's the next day here. Um, I've installed all the updates and whatnot here. Um, added the SSD sticker here. Never mind the Windows Vista one. I haven't had Windows Vista installed on this piece on this laptop since 2009. But yeah, I just had the sticker because why not? Hey, um, now I'm gonna do a boot test on it to see how fast it boots and all that. Um, and yeah, there's the battery over there. Um, this is the original um, six cell battery that came with this machine. I've got a nine cell, but I'll use this one just if I want to save weight and I don't need to use um, a battery. So yeah, I was just got this at the moment. That one doesn't have much left of a charge. I think it can only hold a charge for like what 30 minutes or so. But yeah, now I'm gonna do a boot test and see how we go. Oh wow, this screen is very glossy. Hey guys, I should do it like that. Hey guys, not too bad in terms of speed, like. I'm pretty happy with this upgrade and all that. Um, maybe in next week or so, I might think about doing a CPU upgrade as well, like going from a different CPU just to make it a bit more snappier, as well as upgrading the wireless card because I think this has got a 150N wireless card. Um, I really want to get up to a 300N and one that has Bluetooth installed as well. So yeah, I've turned off the wireless. So oh wait, no, I didn't turn off the wireless. But yeah, I've just got all my programs installed. That at the moment I did that last night. Um, for some reason, the CPU is still using a going up to speed. Like it's using more than it should idling. But I might have to just look into that. But I'm actually being pretty happy with this machine performance. And I thought it was a well worthwhile upgrade on it. So yeah. Um, Hope you liked this video guys and I'm looking forward to making more videos about this machine as well as other IT related videos and car videos. So have a good one guys, catch ya.